and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. With your spirit. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth sold a piece of property he owned and then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is, the Lord king. is king. He is robed, robed in majesty. majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed, robed as a Lord, and girt above with strength. The Lord is First he, he is robed in majesty. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust and deed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. For the word of his king is his role in majesty.
And Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. The winds blow where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know when it comes, where it comes from, or where it goes. And so it is with everyone born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? And Jesus answered and said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this. Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But your people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses was lifted up by the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Praise Lord to Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Yesterday we had our, our teacher parade. Uh, the teachers gathered in the in the parking lot in their cars, and uh, we were led, we had a route that was followed back, back and forth up and down the streets of Oak Lawn in Chicago. We went all the way out to uh, west of Kenton, and then we went east to Holman and zigzag. A lot of our parishioners and their kids were out on the, uh, on the, the sidewalk or on their steps waving and uh, to, to the teachers and uh, saying how much they uh, miss their teachers and appreciate them. And or sometimes you take things for granted, like even taking school for granted. You, you always figure it's going to be there. Or you take mass for granted. You figure mass is always going to be there. And when it doesn't happen, uh, when we no longer have a public mass, and we no longer, when the school is no longer now in session, when it should be, Maybe it makes us a little bit more appreciative of what we have in school and say it makes us a little more appreciative of our teachers and aides. Maybe it makes us yearn, yearn to be back in church and to, uh, and to uh, celebrate the Eucharist and to receive our Lord in Holy Communion. The, uh, the first reading today, all through this time of Easter, we will be hearing from the Acts of the Apostles speaking about the early church. And we have here, describing in the first reading today, this community of the early church and how they shared things in common, how they were generous, uh, and uh, uh, Barnabas uh, sold property and placed it at the feet of the Apostles, the proceeds. And there was this common one mind sense of unity. Uh, we don't have that same sense of, same community, but I, I notice in this time, in, 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 in this time of the pandemic, in this time that can be, this is becoming more difficult for people as we, as, as, as we stay, to stay home, uh, that there are people who are, there's so many people coming out in generosity, uh, helping one another. Um, the people making masks uh, so that to keep us safe. You have these stories of that. The people have dropped off masks for us in the rectory. Uh, so that, yeah, when, uh, when I go out, and, and I, I do wear that mask, and I appreciate it. And people uh, making donations. Uh, People making donations of food, people helping out in, in, in food pantries, um, so that there's a, there's a lot of people who are doing whatever we can within the limits that we have of social distancing. 
so that there's a, there's a lot of goodness coming out in, at this time. And um, people calling one another, people checking up on one another. Um, all that is happening. And um, we, can, you know, we, we have to appeal uh, that there is goodness in, 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 in humanity. And there are, we want to help each other through this. And we know that, that uh, so, at some time we will make it through. Uh, and we make it through not just by ourselves, but with the help of others, with the help of the, uh, the medical professionals, uh, with the help of our first responders and those who keep our stores open. And, and we will make it through with the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit abiding in us. And as sisters and brothers in Christ, we gather our prayers and petitions and offer them to our Heavenly Father. For the Church and all believers, may the Holy Spirit always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil and religious leaders, may God speak wisdom into their hearts as Jesus did for Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage, may life and spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, May God inspire us in our life of community, prayer, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our faithful departed, may God lead them into the glory of his kingdom. In a special way, we remember those who have lost their lives to the COVID virus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all, for all, for all of us, for those who uh, have been afflicted with the COVID virus, uh, that they may recover. Uh, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. We pray for our, our doctors and nurses and other medical professionals and policemen and firemen. And we would pray for all our first responders. And we pray for all those who, who keep our stores open so that we may have, be able to have food on our table and food to eat. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayers that we hope in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now I'd like to conclude by praying the, the prayer during an epidemic, uh, the St. Roscoe prayer. Lord Jesus, Hear our pleas, our good shepherd and divine physician. We implore your mercy in the wake of an outbreak of serious illness and disease. Guide our efforts to prevent contagion and make preparations to care for those most vulnerable. Assist all professionals and volunteers who work to eradicate the epidemic now spreading. May our actions be marked by your steadfast love and selfless service, and never by panic or fear. Bestow your comfort and healing to the sick. Sustain and strengthen them by your grace. May they know your closeness as they carry the cross of illness. And may all you have called from this life come to worship you eternally with all the saints as you grant consolation and peace to their mourners. Holy Mary, health of the sick, pray for, pray for us. Saint Joseph, hope of the sick, pray, pray for, for us. us. Saint Rocco, protector against epidemics, pray, pray for, for us. us. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, and through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that have become our spiritual drink. Bless us, Bless us God.
through the mystery of his blood and life, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that renewed, constantly at work within us, may be our cause of unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But this above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to everlasting and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of all the hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of God hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her in the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Blaise our Bishop, and his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Catherine of Monique Alexandria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And let us pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, Lord God, and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. God, who heard him and takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy to enter under my roof. The only safe word for my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ be deeply safe for eternal life. Amen. the act of spiritual communion for those who are able to receive our Lord in Holy Communion at Mass. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and not unite myself wholly 
to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace and joy. Thanks be, Thanks to, be God. to God. Now all the iron bars are broken. Christ from death to life is born. Glorious life and life immortal. Christ has triumphed and we conquer by this might.